All right, this one's going to be on viewing images within our terminal, uh, running an X session, not the frame buffer and all that. And it's not ASCII. Like, I've seen a lot of fucking videos where they said you can view images within the terminal. Well, those are ASCII's. Those are not images, okay? This is real images. Anyways, let's get to the point. Uh, I want to use W3M, which is a console web browser, and I talked about it in the past. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go watch my old video. But let's get to the point. W3M, and then we go to, let's say, google.com. And you can see that the images load up and all that. Now, if you go to images search here, let's go to image search. And we'll search for, like, arch bang or something like that. Right, it loads up the images. And uh, the thing that the behavior here by default is that if you go see the, the images in full screen, it loads it with a external, um, you know, viewer, which I don't like. So if you want to change that behavior also, you can hit O here and go down uh, to the settings here. Where the hell is that? There you go. So you see right here where it says use external image viewer. Right now it says yes. You want to set that to no. So let's go do that. Set it to no. Hit enter. And go down to the OK here. Right, to save our settings and then you have to quit and then uh, restart this here and then the settings are saved so let's reconfirm this here we'll search for let's say Linux Mint this time search and if you want to look at an image let's say this one here let's look at it in full screen right it's gonna open it within the terminal and you can go up and down to see the whole image or whatever you can actually scale it too within that option uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, you know you can scale it if you want. Uh, other things, well, W3M, right? Uh, you can do that with websites. If you want to do this with local images, like your, you know, your images on your hard drive and stuff like that, you can actually do W3M, and then I have a picture of Xena here, and there you go. You have, uh, you know, your local images, and you can view it from the terminal and squid out of that now the thing with this is um what the hell is that like by default i don't want to see images you know load up i just want to see text so if you want to get rid of this oh and we'll go down to our settings here oh yeah before when i said about scaling the image if it's too large or something or you want to make it smaller you can always change the 100 percent here to I don't know like 50 or something like that but uh, the other thing is if you don't want images to load up by default you can always uh, delete this one here this is actually the the command or whatever it is um, that will give you you know inline images with w3m so if you don't want to see it by default then you just delete this one right delete the text and then when we hit ok and we're gonna quit and now when we do W3M, there is, uh, you know, there's no more images, okay. Uh, if you still want to use images, and you don't want to, you know, switch back and forth, like, you have to go in here every time to um, add that sucker in again or change whatever it in here. You can actually do is create a uh, function. So I created a function called W3M IMG. And this one... Uh, it's basically just W3M dash O and your image display uh, wherever it's located at. So just use like the locate command for uh, W3M IMG display or the find command or, or maybe your package manager and, and uh, you know list out the package that W3M has. And this is the input here, right? So basically, instead of using the regular W3M. I just use w3m img my function here and I can go like google.com and now the images will load up okay uh, you can do you can use this with local images also like our Xena picture that we did earlier right so uh, if you still want you know the the regular way which is just all text and whenever you want images you just type in your uh, function w3m img and then you'll be able to do the images uh, instead of like going to settings every time 
Uh, so how would you set this up here? Another issue with this is that you need a certain terminal for uh, for it to load images. You can't just use like GNOME terminal, Quake terminal, Terminator, or any of these other terminals. You have to use certain terminals that supports this. So for sure, I know that Xterm works with this. Uh, I know that was the other one. RxVT terminal works with this. And for people that are wondering, I'm using the Yeah console. And the Yeah console is basically just using Xterm. Uh, and, and that's how I view images. Okay. So in reality, it's actually just two terminals that I know. It probably there's more, but I don't know. All right. And also, you would need to install W3M, of course. Uh, if you're on like a Debian or Ubuntu system, you you want uh, to install also W3M IMG, and this one will give you um, the images. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's W3M with inline images. Kind of a novelty, but if you're a command line person and you want to do that, uh, running an X session, not a frame buffer, then uh, you can do that. That'll be it for this one.